Hello everyone! Welcome to the promised Ushitan one-shot from the hospital following You Are Scaring Me challenge. Finally, I know it took a little bit, but hey, it's here. Let's go. As always, special thanks to my lovely patrons and all of you who subscribe and watch these videos. You're keeping this channel alive and going. Thank you very much and I hope you will enjoy. The flight took only about two hours, yet Tendo couldn't stop bouncing his leg the whole time. Actually, it felt like he hadn't stopped since yesterday when he learned about Ushijima's hospital stay. He tried his hardest to not look up the diagnosis online, but failed miserably, and now his nerves were through the roof. Of course, there was a chance Ushijima's condition was something simple and treatable, but on the other hand, the more serious possibilities horrified him. It's fine, he's strong, he's not going to down so easily. It wasn't the best self-pep talk he could think of since health issues didn't care about strength that much, but it helped a little bit. He just hoped his wishes weren't going to fall on deaf ears. It only occurred to him when his plane landed that he didn't ask in which hospital Ushijima was. He quickly recounted his fiancé's practice schedule and then dialed the number of Orsel coach, hoping there wasn't an unexpected change. Hello. Tendo, I believe, right? Yes, hello. I'm surprised you remember my name already. And that you recognize me by the number alone. <laughs> my memory is still good, mind you. And I have every player's emergency contact saved. What's the matter? I suppose this is about Wakatoshi? Yes. He called me that he's in a hospital, but he didn't tell me which one. I hoped you could help me. Ah, I see. A secret visit? Um, yeah. How did you know? Well, you would call him and not me if he knew you are here. And even though I've known Wakatoshi for a short while, he seems like the type to not want to worry with his health. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Alright. He's in the one in the center. That's even for future reference. We always take our players there. Okay, thank you so much. No need to. I'm sure your presence will cheer him up a lot. He needs it, to be honest. And though clenched the phone a bit tighter, not liking the images the single sentence put into his head one bit. Still, he forced himself to remain calm. Thank the coach again, and then all he had to do was to tell the taxi driver the address. Although the actual challenge was still about to come later. He made his way through the hospital wing, following the directions one nice nurse gave him. The hallways were surprisingly lively for a hospital, though the deeper into the wing he went, the quieter it became. Hopefully not because the patients are in bad state. He shooed that thought away and carried on, finally finding the door he was looking for. Taking a deep breath, he squared his shoulders and entered quietly, his lips curling up in a smile the second their eyes met. Hello, Miracle Boy. Ushijima blinked a few times in apparent confusion. The pause long enough for Tendo to start squirming inwardly. Ah, uh, surprise? Ah, uh, yes, surprise indeed. Hello, Satori. He turned his head a bit and Tendo rushed to his other side, reminded of what Ushijima told him. What are you doing here? Visiting you, of course. He kissed Ushijima's cheek, trying to not let his anxieties show on his face too much. You didn't think I'll leave you alone in a hospital after what you told me, did you? But what about... Don't worry about the shop, it's fine. 
the world won't end for a few days of vacation. As expected, Ushijima didn't look pleased with Tendo abandoning his shop, but that was fine. The important thing was he wasn't alone anymore. Suddenly reminded of the potential seriousness of the situation, Tendo squeezed Ushijima's hand, taking note of the occasional flicker of his irises. How do you feel? Have they told you anything yet? Ushijima shook his head. His face immediately scrunching in pain. The sight hurt Tendo more than he expected. It was so different from how he usually knew his beloved. A nasty reminder that everyone was mortal in the end. Even the solid rock that was Ushijima. Well, I'll wait with you for the result. You said they were doing some tests yesterday, right? So the results should be here any day. I can't ask that of you, Satori. You aren't, remember? I came here from my own initiative, and I'm also staying from my own initiative. So stop trying to throw me out because I'm not going anywhere. I mean, unless you want me gone, like for real. It was a possibility too, but the surprisingly strong grip on his hand told him he didn't have to move an inch after all. And so he smiled and leaned for an actual kiss this time, his heart fluttering from being with his fiancée again. Even though he would prefer a better setting than a hospital. Did they at least narrow it down for you? I looked up some diagnoses, but I would rather not think about some of them. Before Ushijima could say anything, the door of the room opened again, and in came an older doctor with a nurse in tow. Then though immediately straightened, his chest constricting with expectations, good and bad alike. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt when you have a visit. It's alright, don't mind me at all. I mean, if you can talk about medical stuff in front of me. Sodori already knows everything about me. He can stay. Tendo smiled, the words forming his heart. To his relief, the doctor didn't protest against his presence there either, and continued to study the medical card. Alright then, I bring some good news, and one slightly worse, but nothing to be overly concerned about. What's the worst one? That you will unfortunately have to undergo a surgery. Tendo startled, but it only took him a moment to settle his thoughts again. If surgery was the worst news, then it could only get better from here. Shijima seemed to share the sentiment and visibly relaxed into the pillow, or as much as the obvious pain and dizziness allowed him to. And the good news? The other news is that we now know what bothers you, hence the surgery. Our biggest worry was that your symptoms would mean you suffer with many years disease, which would leave you with permanent vertigo episodes and your career would most probably end here. Fortunately, thanks to the scans, I can tell you you suffer from an acoustic neuroma. Simply put, it's a non-cancerous tumor growing in your ear that affects nerves for balance and hearing. Tendo shivered, the word tumor, albeit non-cancerous, chilling to the marrow of his bones. He forced himself to stay calm and cursed to Shijima's hand, despite the shock somewhat relieved it wasn't anything life-altering. Knowing Ushijima, such an abrupt end to his career would destroy him. So it's curable, right? Yes. We caught it in time, so your spinal fluid flow wasn't affected in any way, which means we just need to remove it, and then everything should be alright. Of course, you'll have to stay here for a few days to be absolutely sure, and then take it easy for a few weeks. He said it with a slight warning in his voice, and Tendo had to smile. It seemed like the man was too used to care for sport-obsessed idiots for his mental stability. 
I'll keep an eye on him, I promise. Sotori. What? I know you all too well. Someone has to be the responsible one. The doctor nodded, visibly relieved he didn't have to argue himself. Right. Well, we will start preparations for the surgery for tomorrow. The nurse will tell you more later on today. If you have any more questions, do not hesitate to ask. Thank you. All the previous nervous weight fell from Tendo's shoulders, allowing him to breathe freely again. Thinking about it, he probably never felt as relieved as right now. Fortunately, it seemed like they had luck on their side this time. I'm sorry, Satori. He blinked in surprise, finding Ushijima looking at him with what could only be described as remorse. What for? For worrying you. And for... If you are going to say for forcing you to stay and take care of me, I'm going to smack you. Judging by his expression, he definitely wanted to say something of that sort, and then Tendo clicked his tongue, taking deep offense in that implication. Sure, maybe it was mostly him taking care of Uchijima these past few years, but so what? One day, their roles could switch, and even if not, he would have to be stripped of all empathy to not care for his partner. Take it from the positive side, we can spend more time together now. He flashed Ushijima his best smile, and it only took a moment for the ace to sigh softly and relax. That is a good thing indeed. See? All good. But I will pay for your plane tickets in case you have to fly between Paris and Warsaw often. Half. No. Toshi. I refuse. It's my fault you'll be flying a lot. I have to take the financial responsibility. Sighing, Tendo gave up, knowing he lost the moment he saw the stubborn crease appear between Ushijima's brows. In the end, it wasn't that big of a deal. He didn't plan on flying too often anyway, only to make sure everything in the shop was alright in his absence. He had more important things to worry about here. As if reading his mind, Ushijima frowned slightly at him and squeezed his fingers in a strange, yet sweet kind of urge. I'll be fine on my own for some time. Will you now? Yes. I promise I'll heed the doctor's advice even when you won't be around. Then does heart fluttered, the seriousness in Ushijima's voice not giving him any space for doubting his promise. After all, this was Ushijima how he knew him. Honest, straightforward and righteous to a fault. And he wouldn't have it any other way. Alright, I believe you. But I'll stay with you until you are released from hospital. I don't want to hear any protests. Ushijima looked like he wanted to for a while, but then a grateful smile curled his lips, successfully sending butterflies into Tendo's stomach. Leaning in for a proper kiss this time, it only now dawned on Tendo that he could actually relax. Neither of the dark scenarios came true. His fiancé's state wasn't life-threatening, and now they only had the surgery to worry about. Of course, something could always go wrong, but Tendo refused to entertain that possibility. They had to stay positive. Have you eaten already? I'm kinda starving from the flight. There's cafeteria. Awesome, let's go then. Ushijima hesitated, but Tendo didn't let him down for long and tucked on his hand, giving him what he hoped was a reassuring smile. Come on, I'll catch you if you start falling. That's not the best idea with my weight. So, you're underestimating my constitution, darling. He positioned himself to Ushijima's side, 
waiting until he could stand on his own and then led him slowly lead the way to the cafeteria. It didn't take a genius to notice how much livelier Ushijima got along the way, for which Tendo was grateful. Cheering his beloved up was his other goal here after all. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I was playing around a bit with the idea of giving someone something heavier in terms of sicknesses, illnesses and all that stuff. But yeah, you probably wouldn't forgive me for that, so yeah, I went with the lighter version of things. So Ushiten is going to be dealing with this in the future. And yeah, that's it. If you have any requests or ideas, the request form is linked in the video description. See you next time.